Hi, today I will show you um, three uses of the switch um, activity in UiPath. First off, I will show you uh, how to use switch on a string, then on an integer, and then on a boolean. And by the end of the video, you will be able to perform the switch yourself. Let's see how to use a switch in UiPath on a string. First off, we'll drag in a sequence. We could call that sequence, well, switch string, because that's what it is. Set it as a start node, double click it, and now we're ready to perform the activity. We'll write in an input dialog, so we'll have the user to type in something, and then we'll decide if it matches our criteria with the switch. So let's have a look. That could be, um, a capital uh, teller so uh, the input here could be uh, what's the capital and the label could be put in a country we'll store the output as a string so control k then we'll store it like this just to and then we'll change it down here to a string in the variables manager uh, just to show you uh, what this does, if you're not familiar with it, we run the file. Then the um, input dialog will show up um, and we can put in something. Well, right now it doesn't do anything because it's um, there's no more activities here. So we'll add in the switch. Switch. We'll drag it down here. Now we need to type in... Um, a VB expression and some cases um, for this. So um, let's say that um, we want uh, this predictor to uh, tell the capital to the user. So we cannot name every we cannot name every case because that's like a lot of countries. So we'll just for the example, this could be um, uh, in the expression we want the output from up here. So that will be string country like this. Then um, we'll um, we'll have to change uh, the expression out here in type argument. So we'll have to change that to a string like this. Now we can add cases. So we could have a default case, which everything goes in except if there is a case. Then this case could be like England. And this is if the user put in put in England up here, and then the the string will be stored in str country. And then um, the switch will land down here. We have to have an activity for that. So we could drag in a message box. That could be like um, the capital in, in the country. I mean, this is a bit redundant. We could have used just, just typed in England here, but that's for their uh, good manners, uh, use the variable name. The capital in, England is London, like this. Then we could have a new case, like that could be Denmark, like this. We could drag in a message box and the same logic, the capital in, oh well, let's use the variable. Uh, the capital in Denmark is Copenhagen, I believe, like this. Then we could, uh, the default case, I mean, we we won't uh, type every country in here. So let's say that default could be something like, that's where everything else goes if there's not a case for it. So this could be, I don't know what the capital in uh, that particular country is like this, we'll save it and we are ready to roll. Let's check how that works. <clears throat> Your path will come up, ask us for a country. Let's try Denmark first. The capital in Denmark is Copenhagen. Well, that worked fine. And of course it will do with England as well, but let's try to type in something else like USA or something. Um, then our uh, predictors should uh, tell us that it doesn't know. I don't know what the capital in USA is. So that's how you use switches 
with a string in UiPath. And now move on. So now we will uh, you, uh, show you how to use switch on an integer in UiPath. So we'll create a new sequence. We'll drag in the sequence over here. We could call that switch it like this. We'll set it as start node and we'll double click on it. And now we're ready to create the sequence with the switch. So we'll use the example from the UiPath documentation on switches. It will be uh, an input dialog that will ask the user for an uh, integer. And then it will tell you if that number is odd or even. Quite simple, but it's useful to show you how the switch works with integers. So we'll search for an input dialog. It's already here, but let's just for the like this, we'll drag it in here. Then the title could be odd or even, and the label could be uh, pick a number to see if it's odd or even. And then we'll have to store the result as an integer in the output. So control K, create a new variable, integer number, like this. We'll change the variable type down here to an integer. Now we're ready to drag in the switch. Search for it. We'll drag in the switch. And what we want to test is our uh, integer. That's the integer number. We will check if the type argument stands for on integer. It, it's the default, so it will uh, stand there. And then we need to um, use the vb command mod. The, what the mod does is it, it, it divides two um, uh, integers and returns only the remainder. So we'll divide it by two. And if there is a remainder, then, um, well, the number is has to be odd because there's no remainder when you divide by two for even numbers. And if there's no remainder, it will be even. So if there's no remainder, that will be our default case. We'll um, click here, then we will uh, drag in the message box telling the user that um, oh, we'll, we'll first off we will um, use the number, inting a number, and we write a text here, so a string, so we will have to convert this to a string, so we'll use the vb command to string like this, then we will write our text, that could be like the number is uh, e uh, is an even number. That's that's the one case, and then uh, we'll in this at new case. That's a, we could add a case value. So let's say that this expression will return the one. Then there is a remainder when we divide by two, and it has to be uh, odd. So we'll drag in the message box again, and we'll write like the same before int number to string plus and then the text is an odd number like this this should work so let's save it and run it your path will prompt us for a number let's just pick 122 that's an even number it tells us that let's try to run it again just to see when an odd number hits <clears throat> we could pick up 5,005 and it worked. So yeah, that's it for the switches with the integer. Now move on. We'll uh, create a switch on a Boolean to show you how that works. So first off, we'll uh, drag in a sequence. So we'll search for sequence. We'll drag it in here. We could call that a switch. Boolean, like this. Then we'll double click on it and we're ready to um, perform that activity. Well, um, what this does, it we could uh, ask the user for a word and then we could check if that word starts with an A and return a true or false value. So we'll drag in an input dialog here. Um, it could be, uh, the title could be starts with a vocal. There, um, uh, 
label could be like uh, insert word to see if it starts with with an a like this we will uh, store the result as a string because uh, the user will so control k the user will type in a string so that will be str word we'll change it down here to a string and now we're ready to um, use the switch you could say that um, we could have uh, in this specific case because it's either a yes or a no we could have uh, chosen to use an if and that might be a bit more easy well i think it's about the same and this one has we could specify um uh, here and it will be a bit more easy to look at but hey that's just pref preferences um, so it's so what we want to check if is that this word uh, starts with an a and um we'll have to um, write something in and that will be um, so we will um, type argument that will be a boolean and what this does is the we will take the string word from up here like this and then we will use the vb command like and um, we have our word should start with an A and then we don't care what the rest is. So like this, and then we could have um, uh, cases. So let's say our default is um, when it uh, actually starts with an A. So we'll drag in a message box here. Here, um, the word. This one, the user word, start with an A, like this. And then our um, case could be false because this one, up, this one up here was true. So when it doesn't start with an A, we'll drag in another message box saying that um, the word doesn't start with an A. And this should work. So we we'll can try to run it and type in some words and see what it does. Oh, well, we'll still run what we forgot was um, we'll go out in the main and set this as a start node. So um, the actual uh, sequence will run sorry for that but i like these errors because that show you how to solve things and well this one is a common error that you forgot to run the actual workflow you're working on um so we could type in ape that starts with an a so that should return the uh, true value the default value yep it does then we could run it again and type in lion for or yeah something like that lion and that's this doesn't stop with an a and it actually worked so this was an example of a switch on a, a true false boolean um, thing that's it for now have a good day bye bye